Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to the FS22 Giant Farm at Four Fields. This is the first part. And I'm on my way to my new farm. I got a farm, a huge farm, nearly for free. You can't imagine it. Yeah, and I'm just starting this new adventure and I thought, yeah, let's make videos about my adventures and share it with you and then you can enjoy this very interesting new life. Is it the farm already? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. It's a little bit further. But let's let's just go to the side for a second and then have a look. This is the area four fields. And it's called four fields because there are four huge fields and a little village and four farms and one of those farms is mine. Yeah, and I nearly got it for free. That was a quite interesting story. Maybe I tell it to you when I'm working on the fields and we have some time. Those four farms have been owned by four brothers and they made a fortune with those fields because this is, this area is really fertile and they earned a lot of money and then they thought oh why not going to the city uh, here we come to the village I have to slow down a little bit and yeah, why not going to the city while we are still young? Enjoy the city life and meet some girls and f so on, have fun. And now they are all in the city, far away from here, where I come from. And yeah, I came in the opposite direction. I come from the city to four fields. And here I am, I guess. Yes, yes, that seems to be it. Yeah, that looks exactly how I saw it on the images. A very nice typical barn. Small production buildings. And there is my field, this wonderful yellow field, harvest ready. So there is a lot of work waiting for me. And here I have combine harvester and semi truck and trailer and all kinds of stuff. Tractor, wonderful. Maybe a put my pickup into this little carport then it's out of the way okay yes yeah and on my way here I thought about how I can manage this it's rather late in the year for this harvest and it's a big field and therefore I thought hmm, maybe I need several harvesters or a special harvester. And here I have a wonderful harvester here. Yeah, here, yeah, Messi Ferguson. Black. Very nice black beauty. But it's not so fast and not so big. It's big, but I think I want something bigger and therefore I decided to sell it and then I have more money and I already have a lot of ideas how to spend this money but first we have to oh no this was the wrong button here it is 
Ah, and now here, this is the first time that someone, apart from me, sees this semi-finished PDA map. The outside is not yet done and there will be buildings painted inside, but the trees are done and yeah, this will be the new PDA map. And even the German viewers haven't seen this. Uh, because it's just I just uploaded it to to the version um, and I still have to work on it okay so now where are we I want to reset the harvester no not this this I want to keep yes this it's it's a pity because it's a really nice harvester but yeah, I'm in a hurry, so to say. I want um, the harvest get done faster than I could with this idea. Because this is a let's play, obviously, and in a let's play you have much less time than when you sit there silently playing for yourself, enjoying the night then you have more time okay now first we sell this and then we have quite a lot of money and I'm sure a lot of you guys will use um, a faster combine as well So, oops, usually I never have such a big combine when I'm playing farm sim and now it's already too small for me but usually I never have so big fields so let's check whether we can reach it okay yeah it's going and sell sell and sell and now we have quite some money. This is good. And yeah, I thought I wanna just rent the combine that I use now. Because next time I will need it next year, which will take quite a long time. And therefore I'll just rent it. And it's the first time I wanna use the Colossus Harvester before I never used it. In my German Let's Play I have um, two base game harvesters that I rented but I thought hmm, maybe my American viewers would enjoy uh, if I use the Colossus and I hope it's fast. So with this configuration we all already have 900 horsepowers and 15,000 liters capacity but I want something unrealistic yeah unrealistic more unrealistic large is good 250,000 liters it's getting better 500,000 liters and this would be 1 million liters. I think 500,000 is enough. Um, we don't want to uh, overdo it, I think. And then the engine should be strong enough to be fast. So this is already 47 kilometers per hour, which is nice. This would be 
70 kilometers per hour, but I don't need it so fast, I think. Oh, do I need it? And this is 125. This is the flat map edition. This map is not totally flat. It has some little hills. And I think that would be too fast. I would lose the control. So maybe we try the 70 kilometers per hour. Yeah. And then it has 1500 horsepower, which is nice. And the version will be US because this is by US version of this map and a lot of you guys are American or at least English but okay this is neither US nor e EU but I think it's okay like that. So now we can choose the color. Ah, this is looking nice. Wolf New Age or oh, this this is biscuit green. I would call it petrol, but okay, it's a little bit dark for petrol. It's greener than I thought, but still very nice. Maybe I would call this forest green, metallic forest green. And then the design mm -hmm. color. Winter and dark winter. Ooh, I like that. And I know not everybody will like it, but I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we try the winter option for the frame. Hmm. Hmm. Or something more greenish. What is this? Rye blue. Oh. Oh. And this? Oh. It's a very nice color, but mm, too much, I would say. Maybe I choose the dark one down here and the lighter one up there. So I will switch it and then I think we should be... Yeah, this I like better. And the rim color is okay. Okay, so... And I just want to lease it. 17,000 only, nearly 18,000. This is not so expensive. And then I want um, a trailer, uh, a header. And I saw this Titan Draper Unreal. And with Unreal, or Titan Draper Unreal, uh, you can go up to 97 kilometers per hour. Now I think that is enough. And I like those Draper versions. I'm totally into those. So maybe we choose similar colors like this forest green and then this one and the rim color can stay. Okay, and lease it. This is really fantastic. Ooh. What a beauty. And I'm really missing those Draper headers for 
smaller combines, so medium-sized combines. So I think X would be the right choice. And now, haha, now we can go nearly as fast as with our pickup. Yeah! Here we are! And it still takes a while to to go along this field that we don't own. And I wonder how fast the, the helper can work with this. But I heard it's good. So, here we are. Yeah, do I want the, the straw? I think yes. Here I want the straw now, and I will collect it rather soon, because I have time here. I don't need to jump every minute to uh, to unload it. So let's check. Enable straw, and then just activate the worker. Curious. Yeah, 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 it seems far. Oh, wow, wow, look, look. <laughs> this is fast. <laughs> okay, I knew that it is fast, but to see this is just amazing. Okay, so then I need a um, bigger trailer and I need a bigger loading bag. The first I Oh, he stops really good. Oh, and look, look, the straw. <laughs> this will be quite difficult for the loading bag. Wow. Well, oh, this Colossus machine. Yes, and go! It really takes a while till it uh, starts ejecting the straw. This is amazing! Okay, so I have to concentrate. <laughs> but it's hard to concentrate. <laughs> um... So I think I take, no, not that, this, but that, come on. No, no, this is not the right one. This I want to keep. Um, oh, I want to reset them and don't want to drive with them to the, okay, that's okay. I reset this. And then, no, not this, but later I need a big water, water trailer. Why is this so difficult? Because they are so close together. Hmm. Okay, then I take this Deutz far. And reset it to the shop. Yes, this is the right one. This is a very nice trailer. I like it, but um, I need a big one. A really big one. 
So, and I want to reset another tractor. Okay. It's already back again. It's fascinating. Good. Here we are. And now first we sell those trailers. Somehow it's a pity. I really got to like this trailer. Maybe I will transform this trailer to a um, TARDIS trailer. Because there are wishes for um, TARDIS trailer with a daisy dolly. And with 200,000 liters and a TARDIS trailer with such um, push to the back function as a trailer and a small loading wagon. So sell it. Okay. And maybe this one is nice because I li really like to use it. But. Yeah, right now it's too small. So... Uh, if you wonder where I got this Colossus uh, Harvester, it is indeed called Colossus and it's available at Motop. And it's really easy to find. So, sell this, and then we have to leave with our tractors for not standing in the way here. And there, maybe it isn't even standing in the way, but better be out of the way. And now we buy a trailer and a loading bag. Here we are. Yep. And the counterpart to this Colossus uh, harvester is my TARDIS trailer and loading wagon pack. Available at Motup as well here. And... Yeah, this can get up to uh, 200 cu cubic meters, 200,000 liters. Maybe I can get such a metallic color. No, I, I should include metallic colors as well. But I think this is okay for, for the time being. Yeah, I just buy it. Yeah, everything's fine. And then a loading wagon at the same size, which is more expensive and with silage additive. And I have to think on buying silage additive as well. Okay, and maybe I just buy the water tank as well. Then we are done for the moment. This has the same capacity and is also part of my TARDIS pack. So, now, first... First, we go with the trailer. Yeah, to be ready. Because maybe I should get some of the wheat already and put it into a production that it um, can start being worked on. So, 
so. And now we are not as fast, but still rather fast. So 63 kilometers per hour is still okay, I would say. But the combine is faster, even when working. And I wonder whether he's already halfway done with the field. No, not yet, but wow, wow. And maybe I should switch from straw producing to no straw producing. Hmm. Or, or not yet. Because I don't want to wanna work so hard on the straw. Oi, oi, oi. Look, look, look how he is speeding. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> but he is skipping some... some weed bushes. Okay, maybe I should jump into it. Stop him. Okay. And maybe I just let him turn. Is it enough strong? I think it's enough. So then we just go. <laughs> long so you could definitely have a wider um, a wider header with this but uh, yeah you need this special header for, for fast speed running so wow Wow, this is fast. Okay. Yeah, 120,000 liters is good for the beginning. <laughs> okay, a little bit more to the right maybe, and then we start the rush again. So, adjusting, wow, jump out very fast, oh, This really brings fun into the game. As I hope will uh, do this map, I hope this will just bring fun into the game to get some different experiences and such. Stop, 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 stop. Back. Yeah, as, as you may have already uh, realized, I'm 
something like a mixture of the the young woman that is owning this farm and making her new experiences on the one hand and on the other hand just myself the model of this map and therefore i'm talking about map and mod related stuff and so and i switch back and forth between those two um yeah i hope you you will recognize <laughs> which I'm what I am in every moment. So we start the wheat flour and the bread production. And check whether the flour is on, the flour should be on distributing. Okay, yeah. I think that's already it for this first episode. In the next part, we will keep on harvesting, obviously, and I will collect the straw, I think, and I want to buy the sheep farm and have some sheep. Maybe that's the first thing I'll do, because uh, then the sheep can already get used to this wonderful new life here at the farm and we can all uh, they can already produce some wool yeah and wow wow look how fast it comes <laughs> racing and then i want to harvest some grass for our future cows and yeah there's a lot to do i w when i have collected the straw i want to start sawing wow some canola and some grass and in september i want to saw uh, wheat and wheat and barley and then wait till spring for maybe some sorghum and soybeans on yeah we will see Okay, that's it for this episode. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.